Good evening. My name is John Haskell. I'm the director of the Law Library at the University of Idaho. I'm also one of the co-chairs of this year's Bora Foundation Committee. And on behalf of uh, Robert Casey, my uh, other co-chair, and the members of the Bora Foundation Committee, I'd like to welcome you to this last program of the 2004 Bora Symposium, Strategic Nonviolent Conflict. The William Edgar Bora Out Lowry of Law Foundation was established in 1929 at the University of Idaho. And it was put in place in honor of uh, Senator William Bora of Idaho. In 1938, the first program sponsored by the Bora Foundation uh, brought Eleanor Roosevelt here to uh, give a speech. In 1948, the first annual program on the causes of war and the conditions for establishing the lasting peace uh, were held here. And this was the predecessor of the symposium that we're having this week. Funding for the Bora Symposium comes primarily from the Bora Foundation. Uh, but this year, we were uh, able to uh, solicit and get uh, some supplemental funding from a couple of, or three other programs on campus the Martin Institute for Peace Studies and Conflict Resolution, the Sherman J. Bellwood Lecture Endowment at the College of Law, and the University's Office of Diversity and Human Rights. And we appreciate this supplemental funding that has allowed us to put on what has turned out to be a fairly successful uh, Bora Symposium. Tonight, we will be uh, having a keynote address by uh, Lech Wałęsa. And the topic will be Poland and the USSR, Nonviolent Conflict in Practice. The game plan for tonight is to uh, have a showing of a segment of a documentary, A Force More Powerful, uh, with the segment that deals with Solidarność, the solidarity movement in Poland that was uh, led by Valenza in the 1980s. Uh, Lech Fuenza, for those of you who uh, are less than 20 years old, <laughs> was the head of Solidarność, the Solidarity, uh, Poland's first independent trade union. And uh, when you see the documentary, you'll, you'll see what sort of activity uh, that involved. Uh, for this activity, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Peace in 1983. And in 1990, the Polish people rewarded him by electing him the uh, president of Poland in the first direct presidential election uh, held in that country. And he held that office until 1995. This evening, we're going to see a documentary, uh, A Force More Powerful, at least that segment dealing with solidarity. This is an Emmy-nominated PBS movie, and it is put out by the uh, International Center on Nonviolent Conflict. If you've come up to come to any of the other sessions we've had this week, there has been someone from the ICNC at each of the presentations we've had, and tonight is uh, uh, no different. Tonight we're going to have uh, Beryl Rodal, uh, the vice chair of the ICNC, uh, introduce the documentary and uh, make some comments upon the uh, career of Lech Wałęsa. Uh, Mr. Rodal, for uh, two decades, has provided executive leadership in strategic planning and management advice to the Canadian government. And since 1990, he's offered those same services to companies around the world. He has published extensively. His most recent publication is the book, The Somalia Experience in Strategic Perspective. And uh, he comes with a lot of knowledge and I would welcome you to uh, greet him as he introduces the uh, documentary for us this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. It's intriguing that you mentioned Eleanor Roosevelt. Uh, salutations are not so automatic. Uh, FDR, once, when addressing the Daughters of the American Revolution, began, Dear fellow immigrants, 
he got quite a rise. And in 1929, just after the crash, Winston Churchill addressed Wall Street, and he began, Dear former millionaires, <laughs> but I'm much more conventional. So, uh, Provost uh, Pitcher, Madam, uh, members of the Bora Symposium Committee, faculty, students, good people of the Palouse. Uh, we, thank you so much for having invited us. Uh, you know, the Peter Ackerman, the chairman of the ICNC, myself, uh, Jack Duval, the president, and Shas Kabarli, the vice president, to what we think is a very timely and important selection of a topic. Um, the ICNC, let me say a word about that because many of you might not have been here uh, on previous evenings and previous occasions, uh, many new faces. So bear with me while I tell you something about the ICNC, what it is, and why we're where we are. Uh, Peter Ackerman, who is now chairman uh, of the board of the Fletcher School, but when he was a student of the Fletcher School, did his thesis on the extreme case of a population in a situation of armed conflict where they had no military or armed options at all. Population under occupation, population of the grip of a brutal dictator. What options did they have? He wrote a thesis followed by a book and uh, a friend uh, of Jack's and Peter's named Steve York, a prize-winning, very accomplished documentary producer, said, great documentary in this. A documentary was produced called A Force More Powerful, which examines the cases uh, of the Indian independence movement. It looks at the integration of lunchroom counters in Nashville and the South. Slick, as you would remember, or some of you will. It looks at uh, the case of the Danes under Nazi occupation. It looks at Solidarność. It looks at the Czech Revolution. It looks at the overthrow of Pinochet. It looks at people power Marcos in the Philippines. Uh, it was it, it remarkably successful, not only because it garnered an Emmy nomination, it's narrated by Ben Kingsley, but also because it's made, in a way that's not insignificant, an impact on history. Uh, it was followed by another documentary called Bringing Down the Dictator on the Overthrow of Slobodan Milosevic, principally by young students in an organization called Otpor. Uh, this second documentary won the Peabody Award, but the two are considered to represent a kind of cookbook of how you do these things. So Mikhail Saskavili, the new president of Georgia, went on record once the Georgian uh, Revolution of the Roses was succeeded and said their cookbook was bringing down a dictator and the force more powerful. The students in Serbia said publicly uh, that had they seen a force more powerful, the war in Kosovo might have been avoided. So we're very proud of these achievements and the center is basically dedicated to telling the story of the potential and power of strategic nonviolent conflict. We are also keen on working with others to create tools so that uh, students of these matters, activists can, you know, relatively, in a relatively risk-free way, develop the art of thinking strategically about how you take power from oppressors in ways that lead to better results after success. Now, any, I encourage any of you to, co to see us, any of us who are here, we're happy to share our materials, make them broadly available, and there is a website. So if, if I may, uh, let, me te let me give you the URL. It's www.nonviolent-conflict.org. So we look forward to speaking with you and to the extent that we're unable to speak to each other personally, please visit the website. Six months before the wall came down in 1989, and communism a year later put itself out of business in the Soviet Union, and the Soviet Union went out of business, 
Who would have imagined that such a thing was possible? Who would have imagined that East Germany would be reunited with West Germany with the agreement of the Soviet authorities and integrated peacefully or without conflict into NATO of all things? We distinctly sort of we're, we're imagination challenged. This is a very literary audience, I'm sure, and uh, you've all read Tolstoy, Anna Karenina. And Anna Karenina begins with the phrase, happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in a different way. We, the point of this really is situations are highly specific. And part of what we try to show in the documentaries, in the stories we tell, is how a movement to succeed must be sensitive to not only the elements of power in a situation, but also the specifics of the community's history, what matters, what the correlation of forces are, and the film we are to see and the story we will hear from Lech Wawesa will illustrate this very, very richly. We have an ancient political community and kingdom in Poland with a very sort of difficult history. Coming out of World War II, then under Soviet rule, but which under the extraordinary leadership of a group of very ordinary people, workers in the Gdansk shipyard, managed to do what no one imagined was possible, to basically achieve independence for workers in the workers' paradise. How did this get accomplished? The Pope had something to do with this, but that too teaches us about the relevance, the great importance of external factors, the things we can do outside a particular country. Recognizing that what needs to be accomplished by means of civilian power can only be accomplished indigenously by people who live in a community and who decide to take power for, them, for the community themselves but there are things that can be done from the outside to create the space for that kind of action. Helping to create the space for this kind of civilian-based power is a large part of what the ICNC is about and what the Bora Symposium this year has been about. So I compliment the committee for its choice. Without any, <laughs> without any further ado, Let's look at the video, uh, A Force More Powerful, again, produced in 2000 and uh, shown on PBS, uh, bringing down a dictator narrated by the president, I mean Martin Sheen, uh, and uh, was, uh, again, a P Peabody Award winner, was shown over the Easter weekend on PBS a year later. Both are available. Please call us, please approach us. We'll be happy to make these tools available, as well as the accompanying book, A Force More Powerful, authored by Peter Ackerman and Jack Duval. Jack is here this evening. Be happy to autograph copies, I'm sure. So let me sit down and invite you to enjoy the segment on Poland from A Force More Powerful. Once more, we're going to show this documentary. It'll take about 25 minutes, and then Lech Wałęsa will be joining us. He will uh, give his presentation and then be open for questions and answers until about 9 o'clock. Thank you very much. It was the right atmosphere for a strike. Before 6 a.m. we started distributing the leaflets. At any moment I could have been stopped and arrested. So obviously I was afraid. Workers at the Lenin shipyard in Gdansk 
are angry enough to strike. Angry at recent price increases and the firing of a popular co-worker. But only a few realize their strike will pit them against the full force of the communist government in Poland. People started yelling, open the gate, we're going downtown to the regional communist party headquarters. Then we knew we had to start singing the national anthem. That would calm people down. We're not going to make the mistake of 1970, when we went into the streets and tanks rolled over us. Every worker in Poland knows the story of December 1970. Strikers left the shipyard and marched on Communist Party headquarters. Six were killed and 300 injured. They learned the futility of taking on armed troops in the street. One of them was a 27-year-old shipyard electrician named Lech Wałęsa. He was fired for union activism in 1976. But now, in 1980, he has returned to help organize the strike. During those uh, 10 years since 1970, when I was a leader in the same shipyard, I had been uh, thinking where mistakes have been made. And if fate gave me a chance to lead again, how would I do it? This time, Wałęsa and other strike leaders have planned carefully. Wałęsa is known and liked by many at the shipyard. He announces, we will occupy the shipyard. I'll be the last to leave. Their strike will be strictly non-violent. The government will have no excuse to begin shooting. The strike committee commandeers a cafeteria in Bawensa's old department. Their first step is to make sure news of the strike is not suppressed by the regime. Alina Piankowska, a shipyard nurse, telephones Jacek Koron at the Workers' Defense Committee in Warsaw, who will pass the news to Radio Free Europe and the BBC. Thanks to that, the world could hear about us. Not only the world, also the families of the Gdańsk shipyard workers learn that way why their husbands or fathers or sons didn't come home at the regular time. And this phone call caused people to get organized in the city of Gdańsk. On Friday morning, the strike has widened. Public transportation has stopped. The port is closed and 22 factories are on strike, 50,000 workers in all. Government has cut phone lines to the rest of Poland for fear the strikes will spread. But it's too late. All over Poland, people know about the Gdansk strike. In the cafeteria, the strike committee hammers out a list of demands. They prepare leaflets for the striking workers. At the top of the list is the right to free and independent unions and the right to strike. Unprecedented rights that Poland's communist regime will surely resist. On Saturday, the shipyard director has received orders from his communist party superiors and is ready to begin negotiating. We got instructions to do anything to end the strike, do anything to limit it to just the Gdańsk shipyard. The shipyard offers generous wage increases and better working conditions, everything but independent unions. But when the vote is taken, management has packed the committee with party officials. The terms are accepted, and workers begin going home. As thousands head for the gate, Anna Valentinovich, recently fired but now reinstated by the strike agreement, reminds them that their settlement has abandoned other workers who have joined the strike. 
What about those who supported us? There were 40 factors. What about these people? I felt ashamed and hopeless. What should we do? Alina Piankowska, the nurse, runs to the main gate and tries to stop the workers. A small crowd gathers to listen as she pleads with them to stay. If we really want free trade unions, if we really want any influence on management, we should act in solidarity with the others, that is, to continue the strike. Thousands have gone home, but a few hundred are persuaded by Alina's argument. They will stay the night to keep the strike alive. During that night, they take a fateful decision to form an interfactory strike committee to represent all workers in all of Poland. This committee will magnify their force a thousand times and create a base of popular power never before seen in communist Poland. On Sunday morning, workers improvise a Catholic mass inside the main gate. Thousands of townspeople gather outside. The gate is decorated with flowers, messages of support, and a photograph of the Pope, who is Polish. It's an unexpected show of support for the strikers. I had never expected that, such a reaction from the citizens of Gdańsk. It gave me lots of courage and energy to act, because I realized that we were probably going to be able to achieve something. The Interfactory Strike Committee has published 21 demands, a document that has galvanized workers in other cities. One of them is a 27-year-old electrician at a tractor factory near Warsaw, Zbigniew Bujak. Suddenly we learned about the strike in Gdansk. We read the 21 demands. And as we say in Poland, we felt literally speaking like we caught God by the arm. We suddenly felt that we had in our hands a tool, which, if we don't make a mistake, must produce some wonderful fruit. In Gdansk, the strikers who spent the weekend inside the shipyard have been rewarded. 15,000 workers now return and rejoin the strike and it's spreading to other cities. And when people were coming back, when I saw these people outside, this was a feeling you have hmm, maybe once in a lifetime. I felt this victory of ours. I was only afraid that, that it's not waste. Will we have enough wisdom to keep it up? The Interfactory Strike Committee waits for a response to the 21 demands. While they wait, more factories join the strike. They steadily gain leverage over a system that has never permitted the existence of a power separate from the Communist Party. Everywhere, workers follow the example set in Gdansk, reducing risk by staying inside their workplaces. We are not going out of the gate, because there it is very easy for the authorities to provoke, simply provoke and then introduce police and the military. So we wanted to avoid that. We knew about the activities of Gandhi, for example, or what Martin Luther King did. And we knew that these people, building the theory of non-violent resistance, they won. 
The second week begins. Strikers are publishing a daily bulletin called Solidarity and making preparations for a long struggle. Well, you could say that inside the shipyard there was a second government of Poland. We had a sense of humor about it. We had the Minister of Communication, the Minister of Social Welfare and Salaries, who gathered money. There was a Minister of Finance who kept the money we gathered from various companies that were coming here. We had persons responsible for every operation of the strike. There was a Minister of Security who was responsible for all the security guards, defense of the fences, and the food. Everything worked like clockwork, like a Swiss watch. Their patience has given them strength. By the ninth day, the Interfactory Strike Committee speaks for nearly half a million workers in 370 factories in every industry and region of Poland. Government negotiators arrive at the shipyard. The long stalemate appears to be over. Jerzy Kolodziewski, provincial governor of Gdansk, was on the negotiating team. Some people were clapping, happy that here is the authorities, the province governor, entering the shipyard starting the negotiations. Others were swearing, booing, calling me names. I had no doubt I was going to be the sacrificial lamb. Workers demand that all discussions be broadcast over shipyard loudspeakers. Polish news media must be allowed to cover the strike and talks. The government has come to the bargaining table after 10 days of stalling. It all backfired. It turned out that these 10 days were used by the strikers to strengthen organizationally, to strengthen the Interfactory Strike Committee, and to convince people that without negotiations with the committee, an end to the conflict is impossible. Mieczysław Jagielski, Poland's first deputy prime minister, faces Lech Wałęsa, a 37-year-old electrician. Jagielski is accustomed to microphones and cameras. Wałęsa describes himself as a simple worker, following his heart. Until now, the regime has called the strikers traitors. Now the Deputy Prime Minister has been sent to negotiate with them. The strike committee is cautious, knowing that if they push too hard, the game will be lost, and that Soviet military intervention is a real possibility. There was a whole range of people in the Central Committee who realized that agreement for free trade unions is an agreement to change the system, the political system. Also, they couldn't gain approval from the Soviet Union. I know that. They were carrying out such talks, and the Russians wouldn't even want to hear about it. What? Free trade unions? What are you talking about? Negotiators for the workers are in no hurry. Having seized the initiative, they go word by word over the language dealing with independent unions brushing aside the government's eagerness to move on to other issues. The tactics of the strikers were this. We have to get agreement for free trade unions. All the rest will follow. Valenza said, Mr. Prime Minister, let's not talk about these things. These are details. What we have to have is free trade unions. Mm -hmm. 
My chcemy, my, jeśli, jeśli to wszystko dobrze pójdziemy... During nearly two weeks of talks, Fawensa reports regularly to the rank and file. He seeks consensus with an openness unheard of in Poland's official unions. Worker solidarity is not lost on their adversaries. No previous strike was carried out under such so decisively, with such will of victory and such consolidation. The conviction that we have to leave this room victorious. It was the conviction not only of the Interfactory Strike Committee, but of all the workers who surrounded us, and the dozens of thousands of people who surrounded the shipyard. All this had its effect. It softened us. Frankly speaking, it did. Idle factories create pressures that benefit the strikers. In Gdansk, valuable machinery and unfinished ships are being held hostage. Increasingly desperate to resume production, the regime gradually accepts an accommodation. On Sunday, August 31st, an agreement is ready to sign. They have won pay raises, a five-day work week, relaxed press censorship, free trade unions, and the right to strike. Seeing these accords being signed, we immediately realized that this is the first stage and it is only now that the real race against time, against the clock, begins for us. And the real tactical, intellectual struggle with the other party, with those in power, is beginning. Because it was obvious to us that they were signing the accords, but they will immediately want to break them. The race against time begins as Wałęsa and Valentinovich tour the country to celebrate their success, recruit new members, and create hundreds of affiliated local unions. In four months, Solidarity membership grows to 10 million. Explicitly concerned with the welfare of Polish working people, Solidarity can't avoid an obvious reality. Its very existence challenges the supremacy of the Communist Party. I was feeling that from the very beginning the other side was preparing to hit us. But when they were ready to hit 100 organizations, by that time they were a thousand organizations. When they got prepared to hit the 1,000, it was not 1,000, it was 10,000. And it was not 100,000 members, but a million, and later 10 million. They must grow quickly, becoming big enough that when the inevitable backlash comes, solidarity will be too powerful to destroy. From the start, union activists are harassed, their newspapers censored, offices raided. Workers are ordered to work two Saturdays a month, an open breach of the agreement. Solidarity fights back with strike threats. Yes. 
Jest pan przekaże rządowi, że w poniedziałek prawdopodobnie dam rozkaz do strajku generalnego. Dziękuję. Trochę demokracji, trochę wolności osobistej. Przez każdej ludzi. O, nie dam no, nie tak może trudno. Nie kulturalnie tego, ale nie można. A year after it was founded, the union re-elects Wałęsa as president. Lech Wałęsa. But Solidarity's open democratic structure makes it vulnerable to its own extremists and to infiltrators. There were some agents, you can hear them on the tapes even now, who were pouring oil on the flames saying, to make a demonstration in Warsaw, gather a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand people and then hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Obviously, there was no other course for the authorities. Either give up power and start democratic elections, or tanks and put us in prison. On the night of December the 11th, 1981, communist authorities raid a conference of Solidarity's national leaders. The entire Presidium is arrested in its hotel. In the next two days, Solidarity activists are rounded up by the thousands. Martial law is declared on December 13th. At the moment when they hit us, I said this. Right at this moment, you have lost. We are winning. And you have driven the last nails into your communist coffin. Martial law is an admission that the regime has lost the people's consent. Relying solely on the power to prohibit, the regime has lost all ability to persuade. Though the union is banned, popular support for it is undiminished. Solidarity becomes a non-violent resistance movement, infused with a sense of Polish patriotism. Stripped of a central leadership, Solidarity lives on in thousands of small organizations too many to crush. An underground press unifies them as they both resist and ignore state power. I knew this was my method to fight. I am not afraid of you. You can lock me up, you can kill me, but you cannot defeat me. So the struggle will continue. It will last some time. It will cost, but we shall win. For seven years, repression creates the appearance of stability. But below the surface, the foundation is rotting. In summer 1988, it collapses as price increases, food lines and rationing paralyze the country. A new wave of strikes is beyond the government's ability to control. The regime offers to re-legalize Solidarity if Lech Wałęsa will negotiate an end to the strikes. Within three days, the country is back at work. Solidarity has proven itself a capable and responsible force. In February 1989, Solidarity, the government, the party and the church begin roundtable talks on Poland's future. After two months of negotiations, they agree on free unions, a free press, and parliamentary elections. In a two-month campaign, Solidarity candidates are popular, but no one expects them to dislodge the Communist Party. On June 4th, 1989, Poland votes in the first open democratic elections in more than 60 years. That night, in the square outside Lech Wałęsa's apartment, the victory is celebrated. Lech Wałęsa, Lech Wałęsa, Lech Wałęsa, Lech Wałęsa, Lech Wałęsa. 
Solidarity has defeated the Communist Party by a margin of 10 to 1. If they just opened a small crack in these doors to freedom, I'd put my working class foot in those doors, and they won't close them. I've seen this often and I'm moved each time. Uh, the stories in A Force More Powerful are stories from every continent, uh, all manner of communities. So I urge you uh, to, when you can, try to view the videos. Uh, but today we need more than ever more democracy, freedom, accountable government. We need more than ever to reduce, I'm sure you agree, the incidence of deadly violence. We need new tools and new international rules, protecting the space for civil society. And uh, that is what we've been discussing here at the Board Symposium for the last few days and the work which we do in the ICNC. What is most extraordinary and actually not mentioned in this segment on Poland is that Lech Walesa and his colleagues in Solidarność accomplished all of this with one million Soviet troops on Polish territory. It is a dramatic story of not only discipline, and, but also of imagination. If there is one word that uh, describes what is necessary in making the world a safer place, it's thinking more imaginatively about the possibilities before us. But without any further ado, let us welcome the leader of Solidarność, former president of Poland, Lech Walesa. I wish you'd say some applause for when I finish, not to just begin with it. Now I will need to work a little bit hard to earn the applause by the end. Szanowni Państwo, oglądałem z tyłu ten film. Ladies and gentlemen, I was watching this film with you sitting there at the back. I ja zastanawiam się, czy to pokolenie, młode pokolenie jest w stanie and I was wondering whether young generation of today uh, could actually sense the depth that was in that film and could actually sense the situation that we lived in then. It is true that strikes don't give one more bread. No tak, tylko, że wtedy my nie mieliśmy innego wyboru. But the truth is, at that point, we had no other alternative. I dlatego, wybaczcie, trochę historii będę musiał powiedzieć. So, well, then, forgive me, I have to go back to history for a little while. I z tego, by wyciągnąć wnioski. Uh, also, for us, to draw some conclusions reaching the future. Właściwie społeczeństwom zawsze zależało na tym, by dobrze odczytać czas, I znaleźć dla siebie miejsce w tym czasie. And I think every nation, every society uh, insists so much on uh, reading the uh, 
the challenges of their times and of trying to find their place in uh, this time. Często nie udaje się dobrze rozszyfrować czas i znaleźć miejsce, by zrobić karierę. And it is often a case that we don't, uh, we are incapable of reading the signs of our times properly in order to make a good progress, to make a good career. And I think in this respect we are living very special situation today. And it is really a great challenge for us to understand the current situation, but in view of the situation that we just witnessed in the film. And this is actually something I would like to achieve together with you. Let me start from the very beginning. Do końca XX wieku, Until the end of the 20th century, ludzkość właściwie walczyła o ziemię jej bogactwa. Uh, actually, we can uh, say that mankind, until uh, the end of the 20th century, just fought for land and territory and for the natural resources that were in land. I stąd pewne miejsca na tej ziemi były szczególnie doświadczane w tamtej koncepcji. And that's why certain locations around the globe, uh, because of such an ideology, experienced more than other places around the world. Polska jest takim miejscem szczególnie do, szczególnego doświadczenia. And Poland is precisely such a place which experienced more than others. Bo to środek Europy. Because it's in the center of Europe. A, 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 w, z jednej strony Niemcy, z drugiej strony Rosja. And Poland has Germany on one side and uh, Russia on the other. Jak wiecie, te oba narody to takie narody turystyczne. Lubią wizyty sobie składać nawzajem. And as you may know from history, these two nations are enjoy traveling and enjoy visiting and revisiting one another. I często to właśnie robili, ale najkrótsza droga prowadziła przez Polskę. And that's exactly what they often did in history. And on the way, they uh, had to cross Poland because it's the shortest way. I kiedy idąc, okazywało się, że ten kraj jest ładny i zostawali, zostawali na dłużej. And when they happened to be in Poland on that way, they looked around and they liked the country and they decided to stay on for, to stay on for longer. <laughs> Raz na 120 lat zatrzymano się. On one occasion they stayed on for more than 120 years. Polskie wymazano z map. And this was the time when Poland was erased from the world maps. Ostatnio po II wojnie światowej też zamontował się tam właśnie Sowieci się zamontowali. And the last visitors we had was after the Second World War when the Soviets decided to stay on for longer. Takie miejsca i ludzie tam mieszkający ze względu na te doświadczenia nauczyli się przewidywać, czytać, czytać czas, w którym żyją. And uh, people who happen to live in such places which experience so much, uh, those people have learned to uh, perhaps read the signs of the time better than the others. They have also learned to anticipate things better than the others. Starsi pamiętają, a młodzież niech zobaczy do książek. Uh, some senior people may remember, and the young ones may verify it in history books. Przez, przed drugą wojną światową ostrzegaliśmy świat. That before the Second World War, the Poles had tried to warn the world. Świat i mocarstwa nam odpowiadały. When, in reply to those warnings, uh, that's what the Poles heard from the West and from the powers of the then world. To sprawa lokalna. No nie będziemy się mieszać do tego. They heard that, well, that is merely a local conflict. We don't want to get involved. Dopiero jak wojna doszła do Londynu, do Paryża, przypomniano sobie polskie ostrzeżenia. And it was only once uh, the war reached uh, Bel uh, which Paris and London that the world did remember uh, that the Poles who had been trying to warn them. Po II wojnie światowej znów było podobnie. Uh, the situation was similar after the end of the Second World War. Ostrzegaliśmy, że sta Stalin montuje na połowie świata komunizm. We tried to warn the world that Stalin was trying to uh, install communism in almost half of the globe. Że nie wolno się na to zgodzić. That the world should not allow him to do it. Zerwano z polskim rządem 
legalnym, stosunki dyplomatyczne, nawiązując rządem przez Stalina stworzone. And what happened was that the West simply broke off the diplomatic relation with the Polish a uh, legal Polish government in exile and established the diplomatic relations with the Stalin-imposed communist government in Poland. System komunistyczny nie pasował dla Polski. Uh, the communist system was not the one that would fit Poland at all. Ale nie mieliśmy siły się obronić. However, at that point we had no strength to oppose its imposition. Sam Stalin śmiał się z tego, że narzucił Polsce komunizm. Actually, Stalin thought it was good fun, and he considered it a good joke that he managed to impose uh, the communist system on Poland. Mówił, że tak pasuje dla Polaków komunizm, jakby założył końskie siodło na sinie. Well, he actually said that uh, communism fitted Poland like if you wanted to put a horse saddle on a pig. <laughs> I rzeczywiście tak było. And that's, that was exactly a very uh, illustrative way of putting it. 50 lat walczyliśmy, by zrzucić te siodło. And it took us 50 years to get rid of that saddle. Na początku z bronią w ręku 40 lata i 50. At the very beginning, uh, I mean here 1940s, 1950s, we tried to oppose, com oppose communism with arms. 60 i 70 demonstracjami na ulicach. Then later in the 1960s and 70s with our protest in the streets. Wszystko krwawo stłumiono. However, all our attempts were a failure. They ended in bloodshed. Ale na prób i do However, basing ourselves on this uh, previous experience, we reached uh, the concept of solidarity. Pamiętać, jaka była sytuacja wtedy. Uh, you must be aware of the then situation. W Polsce na, stało, na stałe było ponad 200 tysięcy żołnierzy sowieckich przez 50 lat. Uh, for 50 years we had 200,000 Soviet soldiers based on the Polish territory permanently. Na około Polski ponad milion. Over a million Soviet soldiers based in the neighboring countries. Na około silosy z bronią nuklearną. And nuclear missiles musieliśmy, all around. Musieliśmy walczyć, ale być ostrożni. We had to struggle, but at the same time we had to be very cautious. By nie wyrzucić świata Europy co najmniej w powietrze. So as not to explode, the, so as not to blow up, uh, if not the whole world, but at least then the not to blow up Europe. Mówię państwu o tym dlatego. I am recalling these things. Że i dzisiaj z tamtego miejsca i z podobnych miejsc idą następne sugestie dla świata. Because I want you to uh, realize that from that place, from such places, once again we have some perspective and some suggestions for, uh, suggestions for today's world. Ja myślę, że tym razem nie, nie, zlekceważy, nie zlekceważy świat tego, co mówimy. And let's hope that this time the world will take us seriously, that, they, uh, that the world will not underestimate what we say. A szczególnie wy jako jedyne supermocarstwo. And especially you being the only superpower in this world. Oczywiście zastanówcie się nad tym, co tu będę mówił teraz. Of course I would like you to reflect slightly upon what I am going to say to you to, uh, from here. I jako supermocarstwo wyciągnijcie wnioski. And you being the superpower of this world, just draw your own conclusions. Otóż upadek komunizmu. Uh, well then, uh, let's start with the fact that the fall of communism. I rozwój cywilizacji technicznej and the uh, advancement of the mm, technology and of the civilization doprowadził nasze pokolenie has brought us and our generation do nowej kompletnie epoki to a beginning of a totally new era ta epo tą epokę nazywają jedni globalizacja epoka some refer to this era as the era of globalization inni technologii Others uh, name it as the era of technology, Informacji. as the era of information. Jak ostatecznie ją nazwiemy, to inna sprawa. And it really doesn't matter what name we give it, we, we give to it. Ale jest to kompletnie inna epoka. But the essence is, it is a totally and utterly different era from what we witnessed before. A epoka ta wymaga innych rozwiązań. And this new era requires a totally different approach. Wszystko, co mieliśmy, z czym mieliśmy do czynienia w tamtej epoce, nie pasuje do tej epoki. Everything that we had, that we used, all the structures, all the institutions in the old era, are totally unfit to, for, for the new one. Nie pasuje rola Stanów Zjednoczonych. And um, we can say that the role of the United States 
from the old era does not fit in the new one either. Nie pasuje system ekonomiczny. The economic systems from the old era do not fit the new one either. Nawet zachowania demokratyczne muszą ulec zmianie. And even our democratic behaviors need to be reformed and readjusted. Do tej pory uważaliśmy, że najlepszy system polityczny mają Stany Zjednoczone. So far we have considered that the United States can serve as the model of democracy and the best political system to the rest of the world. Ale przed ostatnie wybory wasze, które by wybrały dwóch prezydentów na jedną kadencję, podważyło to. However, this was slightly uh, undermined uh, during your last presidential election when you ended. Oh. <laughs> oh, let me finish, nevertheless. When you ended uh, electing almost two presidents for one term of office. My sobie, my, my sobie myśleliśmy tak. Może, może to jest dobre rozwiązanie. Wielki kraj niech ma jednego prezydenta na dni parzyste, a drugiego na nieparzyste. Well, we thought, well, the United States is a huge country. Perhaps it can do with two presidents at one, for one term of office, one coming on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays into the office and the other one on Ale czy, czy go innym proponować w Polsce? To chyba niedobrze. But perhaps this would not be really the best model to follow by other countries like Poland, for example. Niemniej jednak z tym to sobie poradzicie jakoś. Well, I think this is only a minor drawback and you can actually cope with it and you, deal, well, you will deal it with it yourselves. Problem jest gdzie indziej. However, I can see a greater challenge elsewhere. Otóż do rozwiązań w globalizacji będziemy różne konfiguracje tworzyć. And I think that in the globali globalized world we will be establishing different structures, different frameworks. Do wiele organizacji, różnych organizacji w Europie i gdzie indziej będą dołączać Chiny często. And many institutions uh, in this globalized world will be joined uh, by China. To wspaniali ludzie, wielka kultura. China representing a wonderful, a wonderful people, a great uh, old civilization. Ale zgodnie z demokracją będą stawiać często problemy na, na, zasadzie, na zasadzie referendum czy wyboru. But since we want to have democracy, I'm sure that there will be some challenges if we have uh, voting or referenda. Jakie referendum z nim wygracie, wy czy my? Can you th imagine that the United States w wins any referendum against the Chinese? Or if we, for example, tried to Wszystko win a referendum against the Chinese? Wszystko przegraliśmy. Uh, I believe that we'll be, we will be at a lost position even from the very beginning. Chyba, że się do roboty zabierzecie i w każdym domu będzie co najmniej 20 dzieci. Unless you really get to work extremely hard and each of the families end up with at least 10 or 20 children. <laughs> To jest śmieszne, ale to jest, to jest, to są fakty. Well, you laugh, you consider it funny, but this is a, a, a true challenge. Wracam do epoki. Let me go back to the definition of this new era. W tej epoce prawie wszystkie struktury i programy nie pasują do, do, do starej epoki. And the truth is that uh, all the programs, all the structures, all the institutions are, are totally unfit for it, as I said. Pewne tematy same niejako rozwiązują się. Certain issues in our life uh, kind of find their own solutions without our interference. Na przykład temat informacji sam się zglobalizował, nawet nie zauważyliśmy. For example, information. It just globalized itself and we have hardly, well, we took it for granted. It's already global. Telefony komórkowe, telewizja, internet, globalne, nikt, nikt nic nie, nie robił, samo się zrobiło. There is uh, satellite television, uh, mobile phones, the internet. This is all global without uh, our special interference. Globalizuje się też ekologia. Ecology also goes global. Ale tu już jest niebezpiecznie. Pamiętacie Czernobyl, jak nas zglobalizował? However, this is already um, something very dangerous to the world as well. You, you can still recall Chernobyl, I suppose. It really did globalize us, didn't it? Tu jak nie pomożemy, to może być niebezpiecznie. And here, if we do not interfere, if we do not control things, uh, they can uh, set up a very threatening situation to us. Globalizuje się ekonomia. Economics also goes global. Oczywiście u was tego nie widać. 
Of course, here in the United States, you don't see it so clearly. Ale w Polsce widać globalizację. But we can see globalization in Poland. Bardzo dużo to, towarów amerykańskich i innych jest. There are many, many American goods in Polish shops and uh, goods made elsewhere in other countries. Ale u was ja nie widzę globalizacji, nic, żadnego polskiego towaru prawie nie ma. However, here I, I have problems uh, finding the traces of globalization. I haven't met any Polish products in your shops. <laughs> no jak to globalizacją jest? So, what do you think about globalization? Szanowni Państwo. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Tematów jest tak wiele. There are so many issues that need discussing. A rozwiązań nie dużo. And very few ready solutions so far. Dlatego że znów demokrację tą w starej epoce do do parodii doprowadziliśmy. Because we have almost made a caricature of our democracy in the old era. Politycy myślą, jeśli chodzi o geografię, okręgami swoimi wyborczymi. Because the politicians, they just limit themselves when thinking about uh, polit politics, uh, they limit themselves to their constituency, geographically speaking. Jeśli chodzi o czas, to kadencjami myślą. And in terms of time, they only mean in terms of their term of office. That's stąd it. Stąd nie mamy polityków z wizją, ale mamy w telewizji. That's why we hardly have any politicians of a vision, but a lot of politicians on television. I, da... <laughs> I znów trzeba to naprostować. So we have to do something about it. Jestem tu, bo mnie zaprosiliście. I am here because you have invited me. Ale chciałbym, byśmy wspólnie Może nie dziś, dzisiaj podyskutowali, ale jutro jednak wybrali rozwiązania. And I would like you and myself to discuss things together. And perhaps we will not come up with a ready solution today, but at least we will reflect and we will find a solution tomorrow. Należymy do wyjątkowego pokolenia. We are just members of a very exceptional generation. W sztafecie pokoleń mamy ciekawe miejsce. And our position in this uh, relay of generation is very, very special. Nie tylko za naszego życia zmieniają się setlecia. Not only do we witness the beginning of a new century. Tysiąclecia. Of a new millennium. Epoki. But also a beginning of a new era. Jeszcze nigdy od nas nie zależało tak wiele jak teraz. Never before. Uh, had so uh, had this situation made us in a position that so much depends on us. I dlatego poszukajmy miejsca dla supermocarstwa. So that's why let us try hard to find a good uh, position for the superpower in this new world. Chyba, że nie chcecie być supermocarstwem, oddajcie to Polsce, my sobie poradzimy. Unless you decide that you don't want to be a superpower any longer, just share this position with Paul and we will know what to do with it. <laughs> Szanowni Państwo, ponieważ Czas jest wasz drogi i mój. Well, ladies and gentlemen, since your time and my is very precious. Dalszy ciąg już bym po chciał poprowadzić razem z państwem tematy wybrane. I would now like to pass to the part in the of the discussion in which you also participate, in which you pick the topics that you want to discuss. Byśmy mówili tylko o tym, co nas interesuje. So that we really focus on what uh, is of interest to Jak you. Jak nie chcecie, to ja będę monologował. Of course, if you are unwilling to join in the discussion, I will continue monologuing. Ale mo monolog może być nudny. But a monologue can turn out a boring thing. So... Ale, ale zgodziłem się, więc but dobrze. Since I have agreed to be here, I will do it, not Je to worry. Jeśli wybieracie monolog, if you choose and if you opt for the monologue, there will be one condition set to it. Zamykam drzwi, nikomu nie wolno wyjść. I will lock all the doors, I will not let anyone out. <laughs> nie będę monologował do pustej sali. I won't be monologuing to empty seats. <laughs> Więc wybór należy do was. So it's up to you to decide. Jest, jest z historii, z moich miejsc, z mojej walki, jest tak dużo tematów, na które mogę mówić. Uh, there are so many issues that we can talk about, uh, referring to history, to my struggle, to my uh, position in it. Uczestniczyłem w wielkich procesach. I did take part in great important processes in this world. Poznałem naj, największych ludzi tego świata. I got to know all the most powerful people of this world. Więc można o tym. So that may be one of the topics. Ale wolałbym jednak mówić o dniu dzisiejszym. But I'd sooner talk about today. O, mi, o systemach politycznych, ekonomicznych. I'd sooner talk about the new uh, systems, both economic and political. O szansach Stanów Zjednoczonych, Europy i świata. I'd sooner talk about the opportunities that the United States, the world and uh, Europe are facing. 
Ale może to jeszcze raz mnie zaprosicie na następnym spotkaniu. But if we don't discuss all of these issues, perhaps I will get reinvited and then we will continue the discussion. Podoba mi się wszystko, tylko ta Moskwa to nie bardzo. I like everything here. It's just that Moscow, you know, this is slightly different. <laughs> No zobaczcie, jaką pogodę daliście mi, no. And on top of it, you see, see the weather with, with which you greeted me. Taka jak w Moskwie, no. Just like in Moscow. <laughs> Proszę bardzo, oddaję Państwu. And, well, ladies and gentlemen, the floor is yours now. So there are, I believe, mics in the air, so you can come up and ask Nie będzie questions. to, ja będę mówił dalej. Otóż I, globalizacja w Europie... I can continue talking before the first one, well, the first volunteer jest, shows bardzo. up. Okay, no, we've got a volunteer. Tylko nie będzie, to ja będę monolog, jechał, bo szkoda czasu. Well, we've got a volunteer, so you can ask a question. Proszę. Tempo, panie, tempo. But please hurry up. Okay. I'll do my best. Um, you, you have to forgive me if I stumble along my words here. I'm uh, a little nervous talking to uh, one of my very first heroes. Um, o, ma pan rację, proszę pana, sto razy doktor ja jestem. Well, no, no wonder you should be a little bit scared because I've been, I've got at least 100 doctoral degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Proszę bardzo. Thank you. Um, earlier on, when you started to talk about a, uh, the idea of a, a globalization or something along those lines, and I think when we start to look around us, and for me personally, whenever I think of globalization, uh, I think of the United States uh, taking over the world uh, with a lot of its different uh, policies and um, Uh, capitalist ways and the McDonald's in every single town. Um, but I think there's an element to that where is there the possibility that we could begin to discuss a global community uh, which may strike us as a lot less scary uh, than the actual idea of globalization? Thank you. Proszę pana, gdybym ja znał na wszystkie pytania odpowiedzi, to miał 10 do mnie, a nie jeden. Well, uh, if I knew the answer to all the possible questions, I would end up with 10 Nobel Prizes, not just one. <laughs> Ale gdybym miał wasze pieniądze, wasze możliwości i wykształcenie, to chyba bym miał to. But who knows, I could have had them, uh, had I had your opportunities, had I had your money, had I had your knowledge and education. Widzieliście, jaki biedny byłem robotnik. <laughs> you saw me, I was such a poor worker. A dzisiaj, kurczę. Whereas today, look at me. A teraz do tematu. But let's get to the point. Otóż nasze szczególnie pokolenie. Uh, our generation, very specially. Nie ma dobrego, bezpiecznego wyboru. Has no secure, safe option. Wymyśliliśmy technikę tak daleką. Uh, we have <coughs> advanced our technology. Że musimy powiększyć pewne struktury that we are simply forced by it to enlarge the structures in which we have organized ourselves. Nie nie Because if we fail to do it, we cannot go on uh, progressing any further, or we can have a very dangerous progress. Wy tego nie uh, well, you don't see it so clearly here in the States, to kraj. because the United States is a big country. Ale na map, na mapę But <coughs> take a look at Europe and the map of Europe. Ile ten państw krajów granic? There are so many countries and there are so many borders, boundaries there. Są nawet bogate kraje w Europie. There are some wealthy countries in Europe. Ale za małem, żeby mieć samolot, bo jak wystartuje, nie zląduje w tym państwie za mało państwo. Uh, but which are too small to have their airlines because by the time the airplane takes off, it already enters the airspace of the neighboring country. So... Nie można się rozwijać. Like this, you can go, or you cannot go on progressing. Dlatego ten ruch musimy zrobić. That's why we have to take a step ahead and enlarge the structures. Dlatego zastanówmy się tylko, jak to zrobić. And we have no option, only we have to think how to do it, how to take this step. Granice, podziały różne, religijne doprowadziły do, do, róż, do ró, nierównowagi. Uh, different divisions <coughs> in the world. Uh, the borders uh, has, uh, have, have left us with great disproportions in the world, divisions, meaning also religion, uh, religion divisions. Ja, ja czuję, że w Stanach boją się globalizacji. I can sense it that people in the United States fear globalization. Obawy się biorą z niewiedzy. And I 
think that the fears uh, come from uh, the lack of knowledge. Jeden przykład wam dam. Let me give you one example only. Jak, jak jeszcze raz będę prezydentem Polski. When I am uh, once again elected the president of Poland. <laughs> taką uchwałę uh, spowoduje. Uh, I will um, kind of force or suggest the following law. Każdy obywatel świata which will state that any, every citizens of the, a citizen of the world, tym wszyscy, tym wszyscy this including all the Chinese people, mają prawo zamieszkać w Polsce. will have the right to come and live in Poland. Serdecznie witamy. They are most welcome. Z tym, że w Polsce oprócz praw są obowiązki. But the point is that in Poland, uh, next to the rights, there will be also responsibilities. Ponieważ to nie jest za duży kraj. Because after all, it's not a very huge country. Ponieważ jest nie, nierównowaga. Because we, have, we still have some disproportions. Każdy, kto będzie chciał z prawa skorzystać i w tym pięknym kraju zamieszkać. Everyone who will, will be willing to take advantage of this right and to come to live in this beautiful country that Poland is. Musi spełnić obowiązek. Will just have to fulfill one responsibility prior to this. Przeliczymy, czyli 10 czy 20 lat wcześniej musi przyszłać każdy, kto chce zamieszkać 100 milionów dolarów. We will just decide and calculate it um, properly uh, that uh, let's say 10 or 20 years before they actually move into Poland, they will be forced to send like, let's say 100 million dollars. <laughs> kto z was może przyjechać, who spełnić can, obowiązek? Who can come and, you know, meet this requirement and fulfill this responsibility? I wszystko można tak ustawić. And I suppose all the difficult challenges can be solved in this way too. I to nie jest nieuczciwe. And it will not be really an, uh, a dishonest way of... Globalizacja ma prowadzić Sorry. do lepszego rozwiązania, nie do destabilizacji, do niszczenia Ameryki czy kogoś. Glo globalization should lead us to better solutions, uh, to the progress, and not to the lack of stability, and not to... Uh, it should not endanger countries like the United States. W każdej States. dziedzinie, biorąc pod uwagę procesy, trzeba widzieć możliwości ich realizacji. And in every sphere of our life, if we uh, take into account all the potential processes, we also need to find the way how they should be implemented. Dlatego nie bójcie się globalizacji innych procesów. Uh, therefore, don't be scared of globalization and of any uh, processes alike. Pomyślcie, jak do tego prowadzić, a jednocześnie nie zniszczyć, nie zdestabilizować. Uh, just think a little bit how to lead towards this process, making sure that you don't uh, destabilize the country and uh, you can achieve the, the right goal. Oczywiście, codziennie wiecie o tym, że codziennie umiera parę gatunków roślin i, i, i zwierząt w świecie przez rozwój. And of course, on the other hand, you are aware of the fact that almost every day um, species of uh, plants and uh, animals just become extinct because of the progress and because of the development. And the processes, huge processes that we undergo will also cause some destruction. But let us make an effort to think and to try to limit the extent of this destruction. I wtedy będą to ładne procesy, bo pan chciał, żeby one ładne były. Then we will, they, those processes will be just the way we want them, because that's what you wanted. You wanted globalization to be a nice and a friendly process. Proszę następnie. Let's have the following question, please. Proszę uh, bardzo. Mm -hmm. Recently we have watched the overthrow of a democratically elected government in Haiti. This government stood by in by that either helped or did not help that overthrow. How are we going to keep violent overthrows in small countries from happening? Or, or what would you suggest to the president of this country who Anyway, uh, <laughs> on, on the aspect of Haiti. Szanowni Państwo, to o czym ja mówię, to dopiero początek wielkiego procesu. Uh, well, the, what I have des been describing to you is just uh, the beginning of a huge um, and a very deep transformation. 
nasze pokolenie zaczyna to coś wielkiego, wspaniałego. Our generation is only beginning this wonderful and great transformation. I dlatego 15 lat temu już pewne sugestie u was składałem, ale one nie, nie miały realizacji. Well, actually, some 15 years ago, I came up with certain suggestions and I proclaimed them he, here in the United States too, but somehow they were not uh, implemented. Jeśli mówimy o globalizacji, to do tego potrzebna jest, potrzebne są struktury. Uh, if we speak uh, about globalization, we need adequate structures for it. Proponowałem, by z, z ONZ-u zrobić parlament globalny. And my suggestion was that we uh, reorientate the, or uh, transform the United Nations into a global parliament. Proponowałem, mm. by z Rady Bezpieczeństwa zrobić rząd globalny. Uh, the suggestion was also that we transform the Security Council into a global government. Proponowałem, by z NATO zrobić Ministerstwo Obrony Globalnej. And uh, to transform NATO into a Ministry of Global Defense. Oczywiście nie odda Ameryka nie odda swojej wolności ani Polska. Of course uh, the United States uh, will never give up their sovereignty uh, Poland would not give hers either. Ale oddajemy tematy nam niewygodne. But the suggestion would be that we can let these institutions de deal with the issues that are not very convenient for us, separate countries to deal with. Pomyślmy, jakie są tematy niewygodne. And let us now think what are these issues that are dziś, difficult. Wtedy i dziś wybierałem trzy. Um, the 15 years ago and now I uh, suggested that there would be like three such issues. Nie ma siłowego rozwiązywania konfliktów granicznych. The first being uh, that there must be no uh, use of force in border conflicts. Pierwszy temat. That would be the first issue. Drugi temat. The second being. Nie ma antisemityzmu, rasizmu i czystek etnicznych. There must be no signs of uh, ethnic cleansing, racism and antisemitism. Nie pozwolimy na terroryzm. And the third issue, we must not allow any uh, terrorism to happen My around the world. pokolenie XXI wieku. And we will declare, we, the generation of the 21st century, will never let it happen that any of these three issues are violated anywhere in the world and let the global powers deal with these issues and solve them. I wtedy ten temat by w tym się mieścił. And then we would have also uh, the issue of Haiti solved. A pokój między Izraelem już dawno i Palestyną byłby. And lo a long time ago we would have had peace between Israel and Palestine. Oglądałem was, was kiedyś film taki, powiem, jak, na czym polegał. And well, I have once uh, watched uh, an American movie and let me tell you one scene from there. Na śmierć, a życie biły się dwa kogoty. There were two roosters trying to fight, you know, almost death and life, uh, fighting uh, one another. Krew ciekła. There was a lot of blood because of this fight. Ale ktoś wpadł na pomysł, wyskubał im piórka. And suddenly someone had a very clever idea and they plucked out all the feathers jeden of the roosters. Się bał. Jeden uciek, jeden rok, drugi, drugi. Nie było. And suddenly the two roosters just felt afraid of one another. One ran away into one corner of the battlefield and the other one into the other, hiding Ale one from another. Piórka tym, którzy się biją. Let us pluck all the feathers out of those who want to fight. Te rakietki, te pieniądze. Let uh, you know, pluck them out of their rockets, of their money that they use. Tak, będą jak te kogoty. And they will be just like those roosters. I to można osiągnąć siłami, and, naszym przyzwoleniem. And I believe we can achieve such a situation with the global forces that have a global empowerment. Oczywiście ktoś powie, no świat jest nierówny. And of course, someone will uh, raise here the question that the, there are disproportions in the world. Oczywiście, trzeci świat, Afryka, bieda. And it is true, we've got the third world, we've got Africa, Ale we've got a lot of poverty. Nie, dnia tego nie osiągniemy, nie wyrównamy. But the truth is, we will never level these disproportions just overnight. Do końca XX wieku. Until the end of the 20th century. Mieliśmy niskie potrzeby w, w, w światowym uh, układzie. Uh, people in general had quite limited means. Właściwie uh, we, I would call people of the then times as bread eaters. That would be it. That's why we uh, struggled. We uh, fought uh, with other people because we wanted to have a better, better bread, more bread, more land, more territory. Na, 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 na wydawanie, na pracowanie, na, na, 
na środki techniczne. Whereas the 21st century transfers us into the era when we focus more on uh, the efforts of our intellect, uh, on the work of the intellect, on spend, uh, on um, to, uh, to the era when we spend more on więcej the products of the intellect. Więcej pieniędzy wydajemy na to. This is what we spend more money on. Za wytwory intelektu można kupić wszystko co w ziemi. With the products of intellect, we can purchase anything that is in soil. Po co o ziemię wojować? So why should we uh, fight for more land? A jednocześnie staliśmy się kupcami. And at the same time, we have all become consumers. Tych biedaków, tych zjadaczy chleba można było nawet likwidować. No przeszkadzają, plącą those, się po ziemi. Those individuals who were only bread eaters could be eliminated. They could get into our way, whereas now... Kupców nie możecie likwidować. Potential consumers must not be eliminated because they will, they will never buy your Ford cars, they will never buy the computers that you produce. A więc podnieśmy więcej kupców. So let us do everything we can so that we have more consumers. Jak oni nie pracują, if the other people who are to nie poor kupują, do not work, to nie kupują naszych towarów. they don't buy the goods we produce. To my mamy stratę. And it's actually to our disadvantage if they are poor. A więc trzeba zrobić wszystko, żeby jak najwięcej ludzi pracowało. So uh, it's for our benefit if we do everything we can so that more and more people A work. Więc I tu zmienia się koncepcja świata. So even looking from this perspective, our approach to the world has changed. Jeśli tak zaczniemy myśleć, to i tam, w tym kraju biednym. And if we adopt such a perspective, uh, then also in that poor country, znajdziemy w tym rozumowaniu rozwiązanie. We will find solutions for the people living there. Ale tymczasem jest tak jak jest. Meanwhile, the situation has not really changed a lot from the old era. Mamy jedno supermocarstwo Stany Zjednoczone. Uh, we are left with one superpower in the world, that is the United operatywne. States, a very effective uh, superpower. W obronie swoich interesów. When they defend their own interests. <laughs> and sometimes they also defend other people's interests. ONZ, and on the other hand, we have the United Nations, które ma prawo do działania, ale jest nieoperatywne, biurokratyczne. Who actually has the empowerment to act on behalf of the world, but they are ineffective and they are they just have ma too much red tape. Bardzo niedobra mm. sytuacja. Which is a, a very inconvenient situation. Musimy coś zrobić, by to uporządkować. We must do something about, you know, to uh, reorientate Albo it and świat to make musi dać either the situation in which upoważnienie, ale i pieniądze Stanom Zjednoczonym do działania. The United States has the empowerment of the whole world and also is provided with the money from the rest of the world. Or the United States and the rest of the world um, reforms the United Nations to fulfill such a role. Źle to się if not, things are really very gloomy for us. Się mówić, no, ale to pytanie uh, pan well, I will try to be more brief with the next answers, but there was a big <laughs> question that uh, was asked previously. Can we have the following question, please? Yes, the first comment is Poland may not be a major power in the general sense, but the Polish fighters in the RAF in World War II played a key role in the Battle of Britain, and also it's finally recognized that Polish uh, citizens found the enigma, the machine decoding the German code. So I want to congratulate their role and key roles in World War II in changing the battles. And my question is about the European Union, about the problem of voting and the enlargement, about the major powers like Italy, Great Britain, Germany, especially Germany and France, want great number of votes versus the smaller countries. How would you, as a former leader of Poland, uh, look at European Union enlargement and the voting power in the EU. Thank you. Ja już lekko trąciłem ten temat. Uh, well, I actually kind of slightly tackled on this, on this question before. Do końca XX wieku liczono nas na sztuki w demokracji. Uh, I already said that the, until the end of the 20th century we counted one individual, one vote, and that was it. No, bo byliśmy podzieleni na bloki, na kraje, na granice. And democracy could survive like this because we were um, divided into um, antagonistic blocks. Uh, we were confined within our countries and borders of the countries. Pan potwierdza, że musimy coś tu zrobić. Bo, bo to niedobre liczenie. And here you confirm also that something has to be done about uh, democracy and such a uh, calculation of the votes because there is something wrong with it. Na układ ponad kraje. 
Uh, in the situation when we have a supranational uh, kind of agreement, uh, we need to have a different kind of a, a voting and a different uh, form of a calculation of the votes. Perhaps in the one individual one vote may be perhaps important, but also money is important in it. Uh, I suppose the contribution of the potential intellect tego, is important. Tego wy, młodzi ludzie, teraz uczący się, musicie to zrobić. And this is actually a challenge for the young people who are now at universities and they are, you know, gaining education. You have no. to think out no the bo, solution to it. No, bo w Unii jest problem. Because it is true that we have a difficulty in the European Union with voting. I dlatego ten problem widząc, ja, się, ja mam pomysły, ale to za wcześnie na jakieś zgłaszanie. And I also uh, see it, I know it's there. I've got my concepts, but I, I believe it's a little bit too premature to present my concept ja in this komuś respect. Tu podpowiedzieć, tych uh, ludzi, I'd sooner to perhaps <coughs> give a hint to one of, uh, well, some youngsters here, perhaps they can come up with a solution. Musi być there must be some solution to it, however. Będą because if we fail to find it, we will, zauważy... face, we will be faced with great difficulties. Mm, uh, there is also another challenge. Perhaps you have observed it too. Dziś idzie wielka dyskusja. Uh, today there is uh, this uh, thorough discussion around the world. Na czym oprzeć rozwiązania? I, I to państwowe, globalne, kontynentalne? What uh, should be the real basis on which we can uh, actually ground uh, the future solutions, both uh, national and uh, global? Ludzie lewicy mówią bardzo krótko. Uh, the people of a left-wing orientation have a very simple answer to that. Tylko prawo. They just say a legal system is enough. I wolność. And freedom. That wolność will be it. Wolność jednostki ludzkiej. A freedom of an individual. Wolność organizowania się w partie i różne grupy. Freedom of association, freedom of political parties. Wolność ekonomiczna. Economic freedom. Żadnych dotacji, żadnej pomocy. Uh, meaning no subventions, no grants. Wolny rynek. Uh, free market, purely free market. Sprawy wartości Pana Boga do prywatnego użytku. Whereas they think that uh, the questions of values, of God, they should be restricted to a private sphere of individuals' life. And I think here comes a certain advantage of this idea. Uh, there is another uh, concept that counterbalances it, Mówi that is that of the right-wing orientation, which says uh, Man is really the vital thing in our lives. Wychowajmy człowieka sumienia. Let us make sure that we educate an individual of conscience. Wyprowadźmy rozwiązania ekonomiczne, związkowe, polityczne z wartości. Let us base all the solutions that we propose to the world, uh, to the world, to the unions, uh, to um, the life uh, in politics. Let us uh, base them on values. Najlepszym strażnikiem i najtańszym jest sumienie. And actually the most effective and the cheapest guardian of every individual is his or her conscience. W Europie zwycięża lewicująca. Uh, in Europe, we can see that this left-wing orientation is on the winning side. Nie chcą zapisać wartości Pana Boga do konstytucji. They don't want to have values, they don't want to have God in the Constitution. To się źle skończy. That will lead us to a very disastrous situation, I can see that. Tego typu wolności mieściły się w granicach państw, bloków i to się trzymało. Uh, such a simplistic understanding of freedoms was good to kind of uh, keep us um, within borders of our countries, confined to the borders of the Nie countries. Się taki system w and a system based on such principles will not be a stable one Be in the global system. Grupy. I can already foresee oligarchies, I can already foresee uh, crime uh, happening and criminal groups uh, taking power. A na to demokracja będzie odpowiadać komisją, nad komisją, pod komisją, nad komisją. And democracy will only be responding to such a situation, forming one commission, a uh, supra commission, and super uh, uh, commission above the previous commission, and that will be the only response that democracy will be able Same to offer. Będą. There will be only commissions and committees, and that will be it. Wszystko, co wypracujemy, oni zjedzą, zniszczą. And whatever we produce, they will just waste. To można przewidzieć. Ja to I can foresee such an outcome. I znów supermocarstwo. Musicie prze 
pociągnąć tutaj rozwiązania. And once again, this is the role for you, the superpower. You must come with the leadership. Showing which way we should go. Wy nie musicie za cały świat robić. The truth is, you don't have to do the work, the work for all the rest of the world. Ale musicie systemowo prowadzić. But you have to be the leaders in the sense that you provide the systems that the world will follow. Musicie pomóc zorganizować. You must be the leaders in kind of assisting the world to organize itself. Następny proszę. Let's have the next question, please. To follow up on Poland's role into the European Union, how do you think that Leszek Miller's government has done in representing Poland's interests in its negotiations as Poland prepares itself to enter the EU shortly? And what do you think that the future government of Poland needs to do in order to represent Poland's interests, especially in its economic sphere? and so that Poland can establish itself as a key player in the European Union. Uh, well, we followed and we copied the democracy that uh, we have in Poland from the United States. And uh, your democracy, just as I said, counts one individual, one vote. And the truth is that uh, in democracy that we adopted, Leszek Miller and his team won the election. Wasza demokracja te, te sprawy jakiejś prawdy historycznej uczciwości na bok odkłada. Your democracy doesn't really care about uh, the historical justice, the historical truth. It just puts such issues aside. Mi się to nie podoba, no ale o to I walczyłem. Don't, I don't consider it fair, but since I struggled for democracy, I just accept it. Nie można powiedzieć, że to komuniści rządzą, bo to w Polsce komuniści byli tylko jak rzodkiewka na wierzchu czerwona. And of course you cannot say that, you know, uh, communists run Poland today, because um, in Poland communists were just like radishes, only red on the outside. Ale to są ludzie starego porządku. No. But the truth is, they are, they represent the old system, the old order that we had in Poland. Ludzie wolności mieli argumenty do negocjacji. Uh, the truth is that the opposition, the people who represented uh, the freedom movement, they had their argumentation. I mogliśmy warunki lepsze wynegocjować. And we could have negotiated perhaps bet a better deal with the European Union. Bo ja mogłem powiedzieć. Because I could have said. Mówiłem, że pokonamy komunizm. I could have said to them, you know, I told you we would um, win against communism. A wy nie wierzyliście. And you never believed me. A wy nie, nie wiedzieliście, jak to zrobić. And you didn't know how to deal with communism. I wtedy te negocjacje byłyby korzystniejsze dla Polski. And I suppose then, uh, with this voice, negotiation would have turned out would have turned out more favorable for Poland. Mogłem wystawić rachunek za wojnę. I could have, for example, uh, present them a check for the Second World War. Mogłem wystawić rachunek za, za pomoc, e, które dawali komunistom, rządom komunistycznym, a one kupowały pałki, które mnie potem bili lepiej i sprawniej. I could have perhaps presented them a check for the uh, assistance, uh, financial assistance that they provided to the uh, communist government, uh, with which, the money with which they bought, uh, uh, what you call it, bats, with which I was beaten. I to wszystko byłoby no, lepsze dla Polski. So perhaps with my position we could have uh, won a better um, an entry into the European Union with, ale, on better terms. Ale jest jak jest, niedługo są następne wybory. But since the situation is as it is, there is a new election coming shortly. Musimy zachować reguły demokratyczne. We have to keep to the democratic principles. I poprawić bankamenty obecnej demokracji. And only perhaps readjust and improve certain faults in the democracy that we have. Unia dla Polski jest niezbędna. European Union is absolutely essential for Poland. Musimy wstąpić. We are forced, or we are bound to enter it. A z takim doświadczeniem to sobie poradzimy. And with the experience that we have, I'm sure we can cope there. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, Panu Lech Walense. Thank you very much for uh, coming here tonight. Um, my question uh, might be a little different, but what can you suggest to us that come from different parts of the world uh, where we're still 
trying to overcome uh, violence and fear and still striving for a certain kind of freedom, um, are we to wait for that aiding hand or how can we bring this freedom or overcome violence from within, from within our countries, with using our people? Bierzcie przykład ze mnie. Just follow my example. Nikt nie dawał nam żadnych szans. Actually, no one thought that we stood as the slightest chance. Rozmawiałem ze wszystkimi wielkimi tego świata. I had talks with all the powerful leaders of the then world. Zachęcali nas, pomagali nam. The truth is, they encouraged us. They provided us with some assistance. Ale końca komunizmu nie widzieli. But they could not see the end of communism. A jednak razem pokonaliśmy. However, together, in solidarity, we did defeat it. No, jest jeszcze w paru miejscach na Kubie. Well, there is still there. Are, there are still Korei. some remnants of communism somewhere in the world, in Cuba, in Korea. Kuba to mnie Although I must say that I am really, you know, surprised at Cuba. To wygląda komar na amerykańskim nosie. Siedzi to i gryzie. I think it's really funny because Cuba resembles a mosquito, tiny mosquito biting the United States on the nose, but it's still there, and the United States is not doing anything about it. Ja już podejrzewam, że chyba wy to specjalnie robicie, chcecie zostawić tam muzeum marksizmu i leninizmu. Well, I actually have my suspicions that the United States has done it on purpose, and it has left Cuba as a kind of a Jurassic Park of communism to be. Able to visit it later. Bo to nie możliwe, no? Because it's impossible that it's so near, but it's still there. Inne krzywdy biorą się z z biedy. The truth is that a lot of injustice. Ze złej organizacji, z braku wolności. Results from poverty, results from lack of freedom. Ale świat się bardzo mocno zmienia. But the world is changing very strongly, and it's changing fast. Jeśli poprawimy myślenie globalne. And if we do improve this global perspective of things, then the world global will be interested in every person, every country. Then we will have the global world taking care of every single country, of every single individual around the globe. Because we will want to have only potential consumers everywhere. Because we will want to have only potential consumers everywhere. Bo, bo rynek, bo pieniądze, bo rozwój. Very simply for the reason, you know, we want to uh, develop, we want to have a better market, ten, we want to sell pracuje, products. Bo ten, co nie pracuje, to nie płaci podatku. Because whoever does not work, does not pay the taxes. Nie kupuje towaru. Whoever does not work, does not purchase things. Jeszcze napaść może. And then such a person, uh, such an individual constitutes a threat. Same they can attack us. Same straty świat na globalny. So if we have people like that, you know, there is uh, a... This great disadvantage to the whole world. A ile roboty jest na świecie? And there is so much work around the world. Ja biorę sam znów na się na się ze siebie przykład. I can quote with my own example again. Jak byłem robotnikiem? When I used to be the worker. Przez trzydzieści lat. And I worked. I was a worker for thirty years. Średnio miałem zawsze dwa garnitury tylko. I had on average two suits only. I za cztery koszule. And about four shirts. Dzisiaj mam w podróż biorę pięć garniturów. Whereas now, when I travel, I take five suits with me. W domu mam dziesięć. And I have ten back at home. Wszystkie potrzebne. Which means they are all needed. A czy te robotnicy wszyscy by nie chcieli to mieć? What about all the other workers? Don't you think they wouldn't like to have all those so many suits? Oni nie zbędnie, że bardziej potrzebują. And they actually need them more badly than I do. Bo niszczą bardziej. Because they can damage them more. Because they travel, they work. A więc nie wierzcie w bezrobocie i to, że nie ma nie ma produkcji. So don't believe that there is. Unemployment in the world. That there is that we have overproduction in the world. Ten percent of the average has full shelves and their needs. Only ten percent of the population around the globe has their wardrobes full, their closets full. We need to put it on work and on consumption. We just must focus that we need to incite work and then. 
people will be purchasing goods. I ten świat może naprawdę mieć da, dobrze i dobrobyt przez pracę właśnie. And then that will be the, the world of affluency, tylko, of well-being, because to, everyone will have work. Tylko jak był układ podziałów, bloków, państw, napaści, <coughs> to nikt o to nie dbał, nie widział takiego interesu. But the truth is that no one saw this perspective, no one saw this as a great, uh, as a great advantage when we had two antagonistic blocks, when we had the divisions in the world, when we were fighting one another. To nasze pokolenie otworzyło takie systemy i takie możliwości, jak to jest początek. And it's our generation that opened such new systems and such new perspectives, but we are only at the very beginning of this, world, of this uh, way. Dlatego myślcie nie o bezrobocie, tylko o pracy. So that's why don't think of joblessness, but about the work. Sprawdźcie te szafy i te możliwości. I, uh, find i out. Zapro zaproponujcie pracę i sprzedaż. Uh, find out what things and what clothes people have in their closets and try to find out the uh, encouragement for everyone to have work, to be able to purchasing things. Dziękuję bardzo. Ach, to z Polski, no tak. Oczywiście znów przemoc bierze się z braku, z napaści, z, z, z gradzieży. And again, you know, the violence comes Powiedzcie, really because people po, are poor and they have no means kiedy, and that's why they want to attack Kiedy monologowałem, nikt nie wychodził, a teraz jak wy monologujecie, jak wy, to wam wychodzą ludzie. When I was monologuing, no one left. Now when you participate in the discussion, people are leaving. Nie well, bądźcie nudni. There is something no, the matter. Are you nie, boring? <laughs> Proszę bardzo. Next question, please, Dr. Batel. I've heard you speak twice before, once in Krakow, Poland, and once at the New York Hilton hotel in uh, New York City. Each time you tell some good jokes about your friend Brezhnev. Huh. Could, you, could you tell us a couple tonight? And if you've forgotten all of them, I'll help you get started with my favorite. Znaczy, ja do, do kawałów nie mam dobrej pamięci. Do, do you remember the one where you said where you explain why you're such a good Roman Catholic and continue to do such good work. Jak już pan chce dowcie w to o kim innym właśnie o papieżu. Okay, if you want a joke, I will tell you one about someone else that is the Pope. Jeden z wcześniejszych papieży. One of the earlier popes. Przechodził ulicami Rzymu. I uh, was walking along the streets of Rome. Na rękę and suddenly a pigeon just did a begins on his. Uh, uh, Boże, dobrze, że nie dałeś <laughs> And uh, uh, the, the, the Pope just raised his eyes to heaven and said, "Oh God, thank you so much that you didn't give wings to cows." <laughs> Mamy poważniejsze rzeczy, dlatego po, proponuję politykę. But since we have some serious political questions to discuss, perhaps we will continue. <laughs> yes, Thank you. Uh, remembering your uh, exemplary leadership experience in resisting and overcoming foreign occupation in your country, I wonder what advice uh, especially significant advice that you might be able to offer the citizens of Iraq as well as the citizens of the United States in terms of our con current occupation of Iraq. Moja sytuacja i walka moja była trochę inna. Uh, well, my situation, my position, my struggle uh, was slightly different. Irak ma trochę inne, inne, inny klimat, inne uwarunkowania. Iraq has a different climate and the conditioning is totally different. Niemniej jednak ja walczyłem z tych prostych powodów. Uh, however, I struggled for very simple uh, reasons. Prawda, wolność. And I struggled for basic principles like the religijna. truth and freedom, freedom of religion too. I nie chciałem być ani prezydentem, ani opozycjonistą. 
And I never wanted to be a dissident, I never wanted to be a president. Ale moje proste wychowanie wciąż mnie w konflikt stawiało. But the truth was that since I was uh, educated on such straightforward principles uh, and I wanted to be faithful to my education, I always, I always found myself in conflict with the current situation. I od konfliktu do większego konfliktu, wciąż mnie wpychano. And from smaller conflict into a bigger conflict. That was the way I was pushed all the way along. Miałem tylko, jak mówię, te proste rzeczy. And I just followed those very simple, straightforward principles. Wiarę w Pana Boga. And I only had two things, that is, I believe in to, God robię. and believe in what I was doing. Nic więcej. And that was all I had. Pochodzę z, z ma małej wioski. Because I come from a tiny village. Z biedy. From a very poor family. Do się nie nachodziłem. I didn't go much to school. Ale te dwie rzeczy tak mnie daleko podniosły. But the truth is that those two things I had lifted me and uh, so high up. I dlatego też wam, gdybym był na waszym miejscu, jeszcze dalej bym zaszedł. And if, had I had your opportunities and possibilities, I'm sure I would have gone even much further. Oczywiście moja wiara to nie jest zabobą średniowiecza. And of course my uh, religious belief has got nothing to do with the Middle Ages, with prejudices. Mój Pan Bóg jest nowoczesny. My God is a modern one. On jest w komputerze. I can find him in my computer. Zasady ma stare. He represents the old wartości. basic principles, the old basic rule, ale po, uh, values. Ale posługuje się komputerem najnowszej generacji. But he uses the latest generation computer. I on daje mi sens życia. And he gives a purpose to my life. Sens walki. He gives a purpose to my struggle. Jak już mówiłem Państwu, nikt w tamtym czasie nie dawał żadnych szans na zwycięstwo. As I have mentioned it here, no one uh, in those, uh, those times when we were involved in the struggle gave us the slightest chance of victory. Ja przez 20 lat mojej opozycji zgromadziłem z 40 milionów 10 ludzi chętnych do walki. Uh, during my years as a, uh, during my first effort as a dissident, uh, after 20 years I managed to group around me 10 people who wanted to oppose uh, the communist system. 40 milionów 10 przez 20 lat chętnych. Out of 40 million Polish people, only 10 volunteering to oppose communism after 20 years of my dissident efforts. Reszta bała się. The rest were either scared się w system. or they got involved in the communist Nie structures. They never believed that there was a chance to beat communism. Też nie the leaders of the then world did not believe that there was a chance to beat communism either. I Bushem. spoke with your leaders too, with President Reagan, I President nie Bush. They disliked communism Pomagali very nam. much. They assisted us, Ale końca nie but they couldn't see that there was a possible imminent, uh, imminent end to communism. I tu się zdarza ta rzecz wspaniała. And under such circumstances, something most incredulous happened. Polak zostaje papieżem. A pope, a, a pope Paul was elected a pope. Przyjeżdża do Polski. And he came to visit Poland. Miliony ludzi go wita. And there are millions of Polish people who greet him or welcome him. Mówi takie słynne zdanie. And he said a very meaningful uh, <coughs> sentence. Nie bójcie się. He said, don't be scared. Zmieniajcie oblicze ziemi. Transform the face of this world. Wyjeżdża z Polski. Then he left Poland. Nie cały rok, ja mam z tych dziesięciu ludzi dziesięć milionów. And uh, not a full year later, the ten people changed into ten million. Nie mogę sobie poradzić, wszyscy dobiegą. And ten million people who are, you know, I can no longer control them, they all want to flock to me. Nic lepszego nie robię. I wasn't doing anything special or better throughout that year. Mądrzejszy nie jestem. I wasn't much wiser after that year. Otóż trzy chleby w Piśmie Świętym pomnożono. Trzy ryby, a ja z dziesięciu, dziesięć milionów. Co jest dopiero cud? And what does the scripture say? You know, the loaves were multiplied, the fish were multiplied, but look at the miracle that I witnessed. Ten people multiplied into ten million. That's a miracle. Ludzie się obudzili. Uh, suddenly all the people just awoke. A ja i my zorganizowaliśmy tą demonstrację w protesty, w walkę. And once they were awoken, uh, I myself and other people, we organized them into strikes, into demonstrations, into the protest. 
I dlatego jeśli ktoś będzie zastanawiał się nad tymi czasami, to musi to powiedzieć. And if anyone analyzes those times and what happened, must reach the following conclusion. Ponad 50% w tej całym zwycięstwie to dar niebios w postaci Ojca Świętego. Uh, which I also have reached uh, saying that or more than 50% of the credit for the victory that we won goes to the Holy Father, to the Pope. Nie robił żadnej konspiracji, of course, he wasn't involved in any plotting or any conspiracy whatsoever. He was not involved in any sabotage whatsoever. Obudził naród. But what he did was he just arose the Polish people. 30% to Lech Wałęsa i Solidarność. The 30% of credit would go to Lech Wałęsa and Solidarity. Mógłbym sobie więcej uszczuknąć. Of course, I could have attributed more to myself. Ale bym się tam naraził, no. But I don't want to lose my good terms with the one high above there. <laughs> Oczywiście, ale to jest sukces, jeszcze nie, nie był pewny. But even then, uh, the final success was not, was not final. Zatwierdził nam su nas ten sukces wielki Boris Jelcyn. The confirmation of this success was put down by Boris Jelcyn. Nie Gorbaczow. Not Mikhail Gorbaczew. Którego tak tu czcicie. Whom you respect and esteem so highly here. Gorbaczow w tym czasie. Uh, because Gorbaczow at that time próbował remontować komunizm. Was trying hard to uh, remodel and renovate communism. Perestroika, głasność to remont. Uh, perestroika and glas glasność are nothing else but a reconstruction of communism. Nawet pomagał sobie strzelać na Litwie, na w Estonii. He tried so hard that he even went to shoot at people in, uh, La, uh, in Lithuania and Estonia. Ale gdzie strzelił, opór był, gdzie ludzie ginęli, opór był jeszcze większy. But the truth was that the more he shot, the stronger the resistance was. Dlatego doradcy doradzili mu Kapitulację, podpisuj jak najszybciej. So his advisor said, you know, surrender as quickly as possible. Stop, stop shooting. Staniesz się dobrym, dobrym komunistą. You will become a good communist then. Uratujesz trochę z komunizmu. And you will save at least something of communism. I uratował. And that's exactly what he did. He saved some of it. A w tym samym czasie Jelcyn. However, at this very moment, Boris Yeltsin przygotował i wyrwał Rosję ze Związku Radzieckiego. Prepared Russia and then withdraw her from the Soviet Union. Nie wiem, czy po trzeźwemu, czy po pijanemu. I don't know whether he did it when sober or when he went dry. Ale tego dokonał. But that's exactly what he did. I to dopiero było pełen sukces. And this was the final success. Oczywiście. Gorbaczow odegrał pozytywną rolę. Of course, Gorbaczow played a positive role here. Tylko niechcący. But quite accidentally. On został, to co wiele razy mówiłem, został kierowcą wielkiego samochodu pod nazwą Rosja. I often compare him in that situation to a driver of a huge Mack truck that was called ten, Russia. Ten samochód wielki chciał pokonać Zachód, już był pod górką blisko. And this truck wanted to win against the West. Już and był, it was almost reaching the top of the hill to be był, victorious. Już był na Kubie, jak blisko. It was almost in Cuba, no, not far from Cuba. Ale Polacy mu zdążyli silnik wymontować. But what happened was that the Poles managed to unscrew the engine of this truck. <laughs> I on mógł tylko zjechać do tyłu, do przodu, no. And all the driver could do and the truck could do was to let itself slide backwards. It couldn't go forward any further. Zjeżdżał do tyłu i dobrze, nie porozjeżdżał na to, a mógł porozjeżdżać, jakby się cofał. It was sliding backwards and we should be very thankful to the driver that he did not crash us on the way. He I could za, have. Za to chwałę. And that's the great respect to ale him. Ale nie on przewrócił komunizm. But it was not him who did topple the communism. I on nie chciał komunizmu przewrócić. He did not want to topple communism. Bo jak chcecie to sprawdzić, to sprawdźcie, jak będzie tu u was kiedyś. Uh, well, if you want to check dajcie it, pytanie. when Gorbaczew visits you one dajcie day, mu pros ask him a very simple question. Proste pytanie mu dajcie. A very simple question. Pan zdradził komunizm? Czy pan zdradził komunizm? Uh, have you betrayed communism, uh, Mr. Gorbaczew? On mówi nie. He will say no. Chciałem remontować. I just wanted to reconstruct it, to drugie, rebuild it. Drugie pytanie. So then, continue with the next question. A pan wierzył w możliwość remontu komunizmu? Well, actually, did you believe that communism could be reformed? No i teraz, o co wam odpowiem? And then, let's see what he answers to this. Nikt, kto był w komunizmie. No one who was involved in communism. Nie może powiedzieć, że komunizm był do remontowania. Cannot, uh, no one can say that 
Communism is a reformable system. Każda próba remontu musi się skończyć końcem, bo to jest taki system. Any attempt at reforming communism will bring an end to the system because that's the kind of the I system. I dlatego jak chcecie budować cokolwiek to naprawdę. So that's why if you want to construct something, ja make go, sure that your grounds, your foundations ja, are the truth. Ja go też bardzo lubię, to bardzo przyjemny człowiek. I actually respect Mr. Gorbachev very much. He's a very nice, likable person. Nawet dał mi nagrodę niedawno swoją. He even gave me a, an award uh, of um, his name quite recently. W uh, that was in Germany a couple of months ago. Ja mu ładnie podziękowałem. I expressed my gratitude to him. Moje, patrzcie, jaka to piękna sprawa. And I said to, the, to everyone gathered, look, isn't that wonderful? Ostatni prezydent komunistyczny sowieckiej Rosji. The last uh, president of the communist Soviet uh, Russia Osobiście wyróżnia is personally awarding największego wroga i przeciwnika Sowietów i komunizmu. Greatest opponent, the greatest enemy of the Soviets and of the system. Ale się porąbało, no? Well, hasn't haven't the, cha the situation reached a paradox? <laughs> Oj, obaj przeżyliśmy. And on top of it, we both survived. <laughs> <laughs> Proszę bardzo. Yes, I think that's the last question now. Hello. Um, thank you for coming to speak. And I enjoyed the film about your country and the nonviolent struggle there. It reminded me of a nonviolent struggle that I'm involved in here. That's the global justice move movement that's here in the United States and worldwide to fight against unchecked corporate power that puts <coughs> corporate profits above food and water and pe people's rights. And I'm curious in your enthu enthusiasm for unchecked free, free markets, if you don't see any um, perils in allowing just unbridled cap capitalism, I suppose, or free market reform. Thank you. Proszę panią. Muszę powiedzieć, że mi się ten nie podoba tak jak pani ten system. Uh, I must admit that I, just like yourself, am not extremely keen on this system. A jest lepszy od komunizmu. But it's certainly, uh, I mean capitalism, is certainly better than communism. Jak pani nie wierzy, <laughs> and if you don't believe it, to może pani sprawdzić na Kubie albo w Korei. You can check for yourself, go to Cuba, or go, or go to Korea. No więc jest lepszy. So, well, it is a better system than communism. But as I said here, uh, it's not a system that will fit well the 21st century. And this is something we have to readjust. And uh, it's, we cannot kind of uh, uh, do it by overthrowing capitalism, by th uh, toppling it, but by thinking what a better suggestion we can come up with. Ja powiem pani dalej. Uh, let me continue. Jeśli tego nie zrobimy, and if we fail to come up with a better suggestion, nie prze, nie przeżyjemy XXI we wieku. will not survive the 21st century. Jeśli nie pomnożymy co najmniej trzy razy kapitalistów właścicieli, if we don't multiply at least uh, by two thirds the um, number of the owners that, let's, that, that, that would be the capitalists Demagogia in the world, zniszczy ten system. the demagoguery and populism will destroy this system. To jest, ja widzę, to widzę te I can clearly see it happen in the near future. I stąd do, do, do That's why I have been um, also meeting with people like yourselves, encouraging you to look for a better solution. Ale nie w komunizmie. But certainly don't look for it in communism because it's a worse system. If we continued with communism until today, uh, there wouldn't be enough sand in the Sahara. Szanowni państwo, wszystko co ładne też ma swój koniec. Well, ladies and gentlemen, everything that's good must come to a close too. Masę rzeczy nie dotknęliśmy wcale. Uh, there are so many issues that we even haven't touched upon. I mam nadzieję, że dokończymy kiedyś to. And I do hope that we will get an opportunity in the future to continue this discussion. Ja proszę was. However, I want to make an appeal to Jesteście you. Jesteście You are the superpower. Macie szczególną odpowiedzialność. And you have a very special responsibility towards Przez the world. Przez najbliższe 5 do 10 lat. Uh, in the next Five to ten years. Musi być większa aktywność u was. Uh, here you you need to have people 
participate more. You, you have to have a strong commitment to things. Bo żadne pokolenie nie miało takiej szans. Because no other generation before was faced with such an opportunity as we are faced with. Cały świat jest nasz właściwie, wolny, demokratyczny. Uh, we have a whole world to ourselves. It's all open. It's almost all free and democratic. Te jednostki to się nie liczą, gdzie tam jeszcze jest inaczej. Uh, though those individual places, single places, where situation is still different, well, they don't count in the whole image. Ludzie mądrzy, wykształceni, musimy to uporządkować w mądry sposób. The truth is that it is up to wise, educated people to put a proper order in this new world. Bo zrobią to inni. If we fail to do it, to, others will do it for us. Zrobią to głupcy. And that will be insane people who a, will do a it. Whereas we will pay the whole price for a it. Wasze dzieci, wasze wnuki wam. And your children, your grandchildren will reproach you in the future o, ta, ta. by saying, Well, listen, o, Daddy. Dziadziuś. Hey, listen, Granddad. Takie mądry byłeś. You were so wise, or at least you seemed to. Do babci podskakiwałeś. You always told my granny off. No i coś ty zrobił. Whereas, where were you when? And what did you to arrange the world? Jaka szansa była? You were faced with such an opportunity. Na wolny, demokratyczny świat. There was such an opportunity to have a free Gdzie... and democratic world. Dlaczego się nie włączyłeś? And why didn't you get involved? Dlaczego tak wybrałeś? Why didn't you participate? Dlaczego and zniszczyłeś szansę? Why did you waste this opportunity? A łzy twojej babki. And what about the tears of, the, of, jechać do swojego kraju. The, of my grandmother who could not go back to her home country? Bo tam czekali, by głowę jej because the communists were waiting there for her to behead her. You had struggled and you won freedom. Może za, za matkę, za tam jechać. And now you can go back to that. The, you could go back I to their country, I and uh, you wasted this opportunity. I dlatego tak wprost rozumując. So, really, thinking along these lines, o tym let us reflect a little bit about nie, this beautiful world. Nie bójmy się wyzwań. Let us not be scared by the challenges. One są na miarę naszego intelektu. They can be met with I, our intellect. I na miarę naszej technologii. And they can be met with our technology. Jesteśmy w stanie. We are capable of Bo meeting them. Bo walce to. Because we have proved it Bez with strzału. our struggle. We have proved it with a, a struggle without a single shot. Otworzyliśmy trzecią tysiąclatkę. And without a single shot, we opened up the third millennium. Na tej drodze poszukiwań i budowy. And uh, in this effort of searching new solutions Może... and this effort of a construction of the new world, mnie zawsze spotkać? you can always meet me. I na tej drodze chciałbym, by nam po Pan Bóg. And I would like God to bless us in this effort. Zostajcie z Bogiem. Uh, God bless you all. Thank you. I'd like to thank uh, all of you for showing up here this evening. I'd like to thank all of the presenters who have been at the uh, symposium this year. Uh, Peter Ackerman, Jack Duval, Shaska Byerly, Beryl Radal, and uh, David Pinkston. And uh, for Lech Valenza, Ahari Jankuya Barnza.